All right, welcome back everyone. Um, I've had a delivery and that layout is now in its box. So as this time lapse running, I've got a few things that I want to say. Uh, board one's not finished, as you know. I've still got the lighting system to wire in. I'm just waiting for Shipley Show, which as of the time of recording this video is two weeks away. See if I can pick up out there, that's going to help the situation. If not, get Alan over and we'll get that wired up and then it's completed. Uh, my subscribers and view account has just gone mental. Every time you like the video or comment on the video, you have no idea how much that helps. It's all aimed at beginners is my channel. I'm a beginner myself, it's still all a learning process. Hence the reason for Alan helping and my uncle helping me. Um, if you're thinking about joining the hobby, you definitely should. That's the board all built. Uh, time lapsed it, obviously, you've seen it on board one. If you know, I go into depth on board one, so if you do want to see how it's built step by step, visit the channel, hit the playlist, and visit module one. Underneath this ruler, it's going to tell you exactly what's going on this board. These letters are all points of interest as well, which I'm going to explain what's going where. So this board is going to be a scrap yard. So starting with A, yard entrance left. We've got B down here. That's the filled wagons getting ready to empty. We've got C, correct, yard entrance right. We've got D. That's going to be the empty wagon storage. We've got E up here. That is going to be site office, toilet blocks, that sort of thing. We've got F. That's going to be entrance for the flatbed wagons and that sort of thing, getting ready to tip. We've got G. That's just telling me it's a crossing point. We've got H. That is the unloading slash loading uh, to take away and off the scrapyard. We've got J, which is spoiled scrap, sort of on the ground, flatbeds have tipped it all over, cover the area. And finally, we've got K, which is going to be full wagon storage. One thing I will say about this episode is it's going to have a lot of time lapses in because it's, it's a new board. We've got to get things prepared. And I'm going about this board slightly different order than I did last time. And we're going to start by painting the baseboard. Or the base, I should say. With it being a scrapyard especially, the ground is going to be filthy. So we want that in preparation. We're not looking for a masterpiece, we're just looking for coverage. Whilst that's drying, I have, of course, picked up two more of the back scene corner formers, I'll call them, which, as you know from board one, sit in the corner and allow the back scene to curve around with no sharp, harsh creases or edges. Which brings me on to my next thing. It's going to be a scrapyard, as we know. The back scene, I think, is going to play a key role in this whole layout. So, any suggestions, anything that would be ideal as a back scene, please leave them down below in the comments. And hear me out. I like the idea of doing something along the lines of sort of maybe down this side just like a just a section of the board as a bit of a local graveyard a bit like totem or totem however it's pronounced but like i said please any suggestions regarding the vaccine because i think that's what's going to hold me up at the minute is deciding on the best way to go about it and of course sourcing the vaccine <laughs> i 
and now I'm going to get the brace cut for the back of here get that going in and drying so everything can dry at once when it's all dried we're ready to move on upon laying some track I've discovered a few kinks that need ironing out small radius left small radius right this is now a y point i've taken the small radius y uh, sorry the right hand point off it was just meaning basically this track here is roughly like that and it was just too close not passable if there is wagons on either one of the tracks it wasn't passable so with it being a y point it'll be kicked out and Obviously the beauty of flex track, we can bring it back. That's going to be replaced with a Y point. It's Sunday today, next Sunday, a week today is Shipley Show. And I've got a few bits that I need to pick up for this layout, including a bit more flex and a Y point. This is going to be replaced with a longer beam, which will be roughly here, holding area. So, it's we're getting there next job after shipley is to get the cork down get the track finalized iron iron out those little kinks that we've got left but i have got family coming up next week and this is next week's video when the family's here so there may not be a video the week after just due to uh, going out for meals and things like that so apologies if there isn't, I will try my best. And I'm going to cut the video here and I'll jo you'll join me back in next week's video. Hopefully after Shipley Show and I've been and picked up some bits. Thank you very much for watching, like and comment.